Hey, good evening, everybody. Hello, Rose. Rosa, Stephanie. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, Joanna. Do me the favor to activate your camera, please. Roxana, hello. Activate your cameras, please. So, hey, we're gonna wait a little bit for the rest. Good evening, good evening, Roxana. Hello, hello, Claudia, Silvia. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Ana Guevara. Present teacher. Okay. So let us wait a little bit. I only have uh, nine people connected and uh, hopefully everybody is going to gather tonight. Este, teacher, disculpe. Hello. En relación Hello. al comentario que le hice ayer sobre el inicio de la clase. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahora me confirmaron que sí, se, eh, me inscribieron en el, en el curso que inicié el lunes. Entonces yo no sé, eh, yo sé que uno tiene una cantidad de horas que cumplir, ¿verdad? Pero como me choca su clase de lunes con la clase del nuevo módulo, yo no sé cómo hacer si conectarme a la suya o conectarme ya a la del nuevo módulo o sí puede estar conectada simultáneamente. No sé si a usted le, le han informado algo o, o averiguó algo. No sé, porque yo pensaba escribirles y comentarles la situación, pero quería hablarlo con usted primero. Pues, pues sí, porque no yo sé que es ese número de horas cumplidas. No sé si me puede afectar si, si yo no cumplo el requisito de horas cumplidas, ¿verdad? Sí, de hecho, eh, este, ahora me comentaron de que eso ya se está gestionando y que en su momento les van a hacer saber en el grupo, en el lapso de ahora o a más tardar mañana. Ajá, pero, okay. pero ¿qué, ¿qué es lo que nos informarían? Les informarían el día en que vamos a recuperar nuestra hora ah, de bueno. inglés, ¿ok? Ah, muy bien, entonces, sí, porque si fuera el, eh, en, entonces, eh, yo me conecto directamente al módulo nuevo. Exacto. Vaya, sí, porque yo quería que también usted supiera por si acaso usted estaba dando la clase, que yo no iba a estar conectada, pues, por eso, pero la verdad no sabía cómo hacer, si conectarme a la suya o la del nuevo módulo. Ajá. Sí, sí. No, no se preocupen, Roxana, porque, este, por ahí les van a colocar la información necesaria para poderse conectar a la hora que todavía nos queda pendiente. Ah, muy bien. Uh -huh. Ok. Bueno, okay. gracias, Tiche. Ok. So welcome uh, everybody. Hey, I only have ladies over here. Rosa, Roxana, Joanna, Carla, Diana, Silvia, Stephanie, Ana Guevara, Emma. Uh, well, actually, Wilder is the one that just got into the class. <laughs> okay. Oh, the, the only one, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, so okay, we're gonna start. Uh, I will ask or I will check list attendance. You know, that's uh, very important. And I will try to do it uh, um, very quickly so that we can start with the topic that uh, I have prepared for you. Today is uh, September the 22nd. And well, Abigail. Hello, hello, Abigail. Ana María. Eh, Ana María Emily. Presente, Cher. Carlos David. Daniel Alejandra. Eh, 
Eh, Diana Saraí. Present teacher. Okay. Emma. Eva Margarita. Gabriela Lisset. Jacqueline Jeanette. Joana Guadalupe. Present. Carla Olivia. Present. Melissa Giselle. Present. Melissa Giselle. Raúl Alexander. Rosa Elizabeth. Roxana Yanira. Present teacher. Ok. Rosa Feliciana. Present. Ruth Noemí. Sara Abigail. Zaira Abigail, sorry. Sara Vanessa. Silvia Noemi. Present, teacher. Mm, okay, Silvia Noemi. Stephanie Carolina. Present, teacher. Swani. Wilder. Present. William. William Alfredo. Present teacher. Jancy. Present teacher. Jenny. Jenny Guadalupe. Well, welcome people. Welcome to the English class. Now, uh, uh, don't worry. If you didn't listen to your name uh, by the first time we I check the list of attendance. I will, you know, I will, I will check it a second time just before uh, ending the class tonight. Okay, mm -hmm. Ana Garcia is over here. Yes, teacher present. Ana Garcia. Okay. Well, we are gonna start just right now. Okay, so we are over here in the platform. Okay, but before getting to that part, let us see what's coming over here in this in this page. I think there is a game that uh, it may be very useful. Just to introduce the to the topic once again. Okay, I remember we were talking about the verb to be in the platform. So we're gonna have some review by answering some exercises here. Okay, so we're gonna start. Pay attention, you know, there is a dice over here. I will roll the dice and then some statements are gonna be presented Then you are gonna complete the statements and uh, hopefully we get to the end of this game. Okay, here we go. Okay, take a look at it. Choose the correct answer. Hey, she very sad yesterday, but she seems happier today. How do you complete this statement? She was, she was, she was very sad yesterday. yesterday. But she seems happier today. Good. Let's let roll the dice once again. <laughs> choose the 
Choose wow. the correct answer. We are we, the movie. We were. We are in. We are. We are in. The, so, are is the one that we use in, uh, to talk about past. We were in. We were in. Okay, so. We were We were in. Take a look at this. Hey. Choose the correct answer. Hey, I remember them now. They are such a badly behaved yeah. kids. Where? They they were, Where? right? <coughs> they were number four. I don't Choose know. Choose the correct answer. Why he is so rude? What it was. was. Why was, was he so rude? Was. Choose the correct answer. The students ready for lessons. Weren't. Wasn't. Weren't. Okay, so, somebody weren't. said wasn't, but it's in plural. Uh, I mean, students weren't. 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 Finally, we <laughs> choose the correct answer. Okay, I in China during 2008. Was, 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 was. I was, I was there. Choose the correct answer. Why you not in class yesterday? You were where, 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 why? Why were you not? Okay. Fortunately, we're going to move on. Choose the correct answer. I at home when Pat came to visit. Wasn't. 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 Choose the correct answer. The weather any good while you were in holidays. What's the weather? What's the weather? Weather. Okay. What's the weather? Choose the correct answer. Uh, it great fun, but we all felt exhausted. Was. It was. It was. We're almost done. We're almost done. I think we are ready. Okay. Choose the correct answer. <laughs> the kids in school yesterday when the where? earthquake struck. Where? 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 The kids were. And I think. Choose the correct answer. She is 20 now, which means that the last year she 19 years old. She was, she, was. she was 19, and I think this will be the last one. We got to the end. <laughs> we got to the end, finally. Okay, so that's, that was really nice, a really nice activity to, to try to introduce the topic for tonight. Okay, remember yesterday we were talking about questions, simple past form. But tonight we're gonna see pronunciation about the way we pronounce negative contractions. Pay attention, please. The contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn to sound natural when expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't. Two syllables. Isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. 
A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. They weren't. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. Contractions. Okay, so as you could notice, uh, over here there is a chart in which it's important to notice about the the the, the number of syllables the we need to use when pronouncing. For example, we say aren't, aren't, only one syllable, right? Only one syllable. Aren't, don't, can't, weren't. Okay, so do me the favor to repeat. Aren't. Aren't, don't, don't, wouldn't, can't, can't. Now, on the other hand, we have a two syllables uh, pronunciation. It sent, it doesn't, wasn't, wasn't, didn't, didn't. Okay, let's let's see. The, the way you pronounce this one, please. Can you read it? They yes. didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. Good. Look at this. I don't like coffee mm. and she doesn't like tea. She doesn't I, like don't, tea. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. Number three. This and they are swim sweet. Swim sweet. They can't swim. They can't swim. And the last one. He was yesterday and he isn't here today. He isn't here today. Well, actually, this is only for you to be clear about um, the way we pronounce the contractive form of uh, negative. Um, contractive forms. Negative contractive. Okay, so that was like a parenthesis because, you know, we need to go over the, the topic that we are in charge of working tonight. There is, a, there is an objective over here and it says that by the end of this session, you are going to be able to ask and answer double H <laughs> questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real setting. So this is actually our topic. Let me see. There's somebody asking. Uh, that's Alex Belloso. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, Alex. So people, pay attention because uh, this is uh, the way we create double H question words. Listen up. Too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there, too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? 
It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did and when do I use was or where? Now, that's important. You must people. remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now, let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So, let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past, did. After that we need to add the subject, you. Next we include the verb in the present tense, grow up. Finally we can add a complement. In this case there is no complement. towards the right hand side of this chart you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you were a good student? This is incorrect. That's not possible, right? To form Actually. questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus a subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First, we need to add the WH word, what? Then we need to add was or where. After that, we include the subject, your major. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with did, was, and where. Practice making similar questions such as the ones on this chart. But now focus on asking them about yourself or your family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Now, let's analyze how to... Okay, so, uh, well, the guy explained quite well uh, everything related to double H questions uh, with uh, the verb to be, but also with some of the verbs. And he explained what I told you yesterday. Like, for example, when you have did, you have another verb, but the verb to be. But if you are using the verb to be, you see, you don't need the auxiliary, the auxiliary did, as we, as we use it over here. So that is something important, right? Because the, the verb to be is the only verb in which you are not going to use the auxiliary did for talking about past statements. Okay, any questions so far? Questions, people, about this? No, teacher. No, it's everything's all right. Okay, so if you don't have questions, so we're gonna talk, we're gonna work in purse to, um, you can use this conversation, okay, in order to practice. 
uh, van a trabajar en parejas y van a, a decirnos esta conversación. Si acaso le quieren cambiar algo o agregarle o quitarle e incluir otra información, pues lo pueden hacer. Pero yo voy a dar 15 minutos para que ustedes practiquen muy bien lo que acá dice. ¿Ok? Que lo digan de manera natural. Y le voy a agregar algo más que, lo, que no lo vayan a leer. ¿Ok? Por eso voy a, a incluir mis 15 minutos por acá. Listo. Where did you grow up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Mm -hmm. Well, um... I, I think it was not that happy, right? The lady was not that happy. <laughs> but... I'm sure. <laughs> sure. She is not happy, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you know, he needed the money. That's what he that's something important in the conversation, right? That's why he decided to become a, 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 um, a stylist. Okay. So we're gonna repeat only once and then you are going to work in person, okay? A hairstylist. Two. Listen. And when did you come to so Chuck? Okay, so Chuck. Where did you grow up? Can you repeat, please? So Chuck. So Chuck. So Chuck. So Chuck. Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. I grew up in Texas. I grew up in Texas. I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. In 1990. In 1990. I went to college here. 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 What was your major? College here. Oh, what was your major? Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Drama. Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you That's become a hairstylist? That's that interesting. interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? I, I did it. Why? Because, because I needed the money. Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Because I needed the money. Because I needed the money. Because I needed the money. What do you think? Well, uh... Well... Uh, well, well, uh, she's like not good. She's no, it's not that good, right? <laughs> so she's hesitating, right, about about the result. Okay, people. So this is the point number five point nine in the platform. Okay, I will stop sharing. Recuérdense que hay dos objetivos: sonar que nuestra conversación suene muy natural. Eh, y que la otra es que no hagamos uso de una lectura que tratemos de decirlo sin la necesidad de leer ok I have 16 people I will create 8 couples now pay attention son 15 minutos luego vamos a reproducir lo que nos hemos aprendido Here we go.
Hola. ¿Encontró? Sí, ya. Ok. Hay, okay. hay otra persona con nosotros. Ah. So, why did you become a hairstyle? Because, uh, because I need, because I need. Why did you become? No lo escucho. Se me desconectó un ratito. Uh -huh. Dice, that interesting, so why did you become? Digo que ahí podíamos. Uh -huh. lo, lo dejamos así o seguimos practicando. <risa> I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, um... <coughs> ya lo practicamos una vez. No sé si quiere que lo practiquemos otra vez. Y... Sí, sí, sí. Porque sí. aprenderse. <laughs> Such a word did you grow up? Tienes la, la conversación. Sí, en el, ¿cómo se llama? En el folleto ese y en el manual de, 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 del estudiante. O ahí también está en la plataforma. Sí, que en eso estoy viendo y que no encuentro el link para entrar. <risa> Vaya. Ay, no me... Ya, 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 ya. Ahí sí. Sí. Ah, ok. Vaya. Eh, empiece usted si quiere entonces, porque obviamente usted va a ser melisa. Vaya, ahorita. Ok.
Okay. How was how was the activity? <laughs> how was it? Very difficult, difficult or easy? It easy. Okay. okay, easy. That means that you are gonna say it by heart, and uh, you're going to do it very naturally, right? So, William Alfredo, go ahead. Okay, William, are you ready? Uh, yes. Who did you work with, William? Hi, teacher. Ah, with Melissa. Okay, so are you yes. ready now? Yes. Okay, you can start now. Okay, so Shaq, where do you grow up? I don't know uh, what happened to your participation. Hey, me too. Uh, let us try with Joanna. Joanna, who do you work with? Okay. I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. Okay, Stefan. Uh, let me see. Joanna, who did you work with? Yes. Uh, ¿Con quién trabajó usted? Uh, I don't remember. You don't remember? No. <laughs> mm. Well, let, let us let's wait a, a, a little bit. Let me see. I will try with uh Diana Sarai. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so let's try. So Chuck, where do you grow up? Uh Carla? Sorry. <laughs> Ahorita. Uh, I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was... I was not there for five years after college. That's interesting. So... Why did you become a hard stylist? Because I needed the money and love it. Blue, what do you think? Well, uh... <laughs> well, uh, that's what she thinks. Okay, that is what she thinks. Hey, anybody else? Anybody else who wants to participate? Remember, you have to say naturally and by heart. Okay. Uh, Roxana, are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, so here we go. Um, I work with Anna. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, Chad, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born, born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college there. Oh. Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you, so why did you become a hairstylist? 
Because I I need the money and I love it. Look, what what do you think? Oh, uh, really? Well, <laughs> really, I'm not happy. <laughs> you include that you're not happy with the result. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. That was fantastic, actually. Let's <laughs> listen to. That was really nice, Rosa Feliciana. Yes, teacher, because I don't remember with with the girl. <laughs> uh, you were working with a girl. Now, who do you? I think it's, it was Daniela, right? You see, Daniela, Daniela, did you work with Rosa? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. So <laughs> now it's your opportunity. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, Sacha, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Uh, I was born there too. And uh, when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I was I went to college here. <coughs> um uh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor uh, for uh, for five years after college. That's interesting. So why do you become a hair stylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Well, uh, okay, that was quite good. Excellent. Okay, let me see who's missing. Okay, two volunteers more. Uh, Joanna, I don't know if you're ready now. Uh, I have Elizabeth. Elizabeth, who do you work with? No pude practicar porque no me funcionaba el micrófono. Uh, okay. So who's missing and who would like to Alex? Do you are you ready now? Yes, I am ready. Mi compañera tuvo problemas, la sacaba la aplicación. No sé si está lista ella. What do you work with, Alex? Jancy Stefan. Okay, Jancy Stefan, are you ready? Sure. Okay, let's try. So choose where did you grow? I grew up in Texas. I once born there too. I when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, but what about your main mirror? Drama. I was an actor. What in Terence? So we did you because um uh, early because I need the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well oh <laughs> I not, feel not awful. Good, not good. Not good. <laughs> you include the expression I feel awful. Okay, sounds like <laughs> funnier. Sounds funnier. Hey, I was just seeing your performance and I was just listening to the way you practice. And I really like that. Okay, siempre que hagamos o hagan ese tipo de actividades de conversación, pronunciación, eh, fluidez, mantengan siempre en mente. Los objetivos, ¿verdad? Fluidez, eh, pronunciación, ¿ok? Que la conversación suene de manera muy, muy natural. Um, dicho esto, no sé si ustedes um, tienen alguna pregunta respecto a, a las actividades, digamos, de la plataforma. Ya prácticamente cerramos la otra semana con una hora que tenemos por ahí uh, pendiente, pero a estas alturas yo creería que ya todos trabajaron la plataforma.
¿verdad? El examen final es importantísimo que, que, lo, que cumplan con las actividades. Ok. And no questions? Well, voy a pasar lista. Okay, second time. Abigail? Elizabeth? Ana María García. Present teacher. Ana María Emily. Present teacher. Carlos David Santos. Daniela Alejandra Martínez. Present teacher. Diana Saraí. Present teacher. Emma Débora. Present teacher. Eva Margarita. Eva. Gabriela Lisset. Present. Jacqueline Jeanette. Joana Guadalupe. Present. Carla Olivia. Present teacher. Melissa Giselle. Present. Raúl Alexander. Present teacher. Rosa Elizabeth. Present. Ah, Rosa Elizabeth. Yes. Okay, Rosa Feliciana. Present teacher. Roxana. Present teacher. Ruth Noemi. Zaira Abigail. Sara Vanessa Silvia Noemi Stephanie Carolina Present teacher Swani Wilder Hello, Wilder. William Vladimir. Present teacher, Wilder Chica. Okay. Wilder, okay. And William Vladimir. William Alfredo. Present teacher. Okay. Chancy Stephanie. Present. And Jenny Guadalupe. Okay, so this is actually, uh, we finish with it. Uh, next week we're gonna see, be, uh, check check the, the, the WhatsApp group frequently because we don't know if they are going to include the information there uh, tomorrow. Tonight, mm, I don't think tonight we're gonna, we're gonna have some answer about what's coming next week, but Tomorrow, I highly recommend you to be uh, or to take um, some time to check the, the WhatsApp group. So we're going to stay here. We're going to stop here and let us see the next week, people. It's been a pleasure to see you once again. Thanks, teacher. Okay, see you soon. See you soon. Okay. Okay, goodbye. Bye, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye, everybody. Good night. Alex, Alex, I don't know if you have questions. Sí, teacher. Este, sabía que esta clase era una de las que estábamos reponiendo de las que se habían, eh, de las que no nos habíamos conectado. Ajá. Estaríamos pendientes el día de mañana para ver qué día nos vamos a reponer la otra, porque eran dos, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Estamos pendientes con una y este por ahí les van a notificar en el grupo de WhatsApp el día y la hora, ¿ok? Porque solo esa clase y ya terminamos este okay. módulo. Exacto. Prácticamente ya, ya cerramos el, el módulo, solo nos queda pendiente este, una hora por ahí. Ok, 
Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, so good night. Good night. Teacher, teacher, Roxana, uh, Roxana. Sí, mire, y alguna buena lista de verbos irregulares que usted nos pueda proporcionar. Para... Of course. Por favor. Uh, ok, uh, voy a buscar por ahí alguna y uh -huh. se las comparto hoy. ¿Cómo no? Gracias, teacher. Ok, ok, see you. I see you, good teacher. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Ana María. Sí, sí. Eh, fíjese que no encuentro su número de teléfono. ¿Me lo comparte? Está bien. Vaya. Sí, Gracias. Buenas noches a todos.